Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, I had some good feedback on the previous uh, AMC Eagle video that I did, the, the $300 hoopty. And um, so I'm just going through, I'm, I'm going to do a few repairs on the car. And I thought, well, I had such good feedback, I'll, I'll maybe do a few more videos on the car, uh, on, on the things I'm fixing up. So the thing I'm going to tackle today is the, uh, I noticed that when you turn the windshield wipers on, they work great, but the uh, pump doesn't pump the fluid, even though the, the washer fluid reservoir is full. So I ordered up a new washer pump, even though I didn't diagnose it yet, but pretty sure it's, it's just really old. So I bought a new one. This one is a Trico part number 11-509. Came in this package. It's got a little grommet instructions, a crimp terminal there. But here's the actual unit itself. You can see here, very simple design. Uh, that's where the grommet's going to wind up going. Here's the tube that's going to go out to the uh, to the nozzles, and here's the two spade terminals for the uh, for the electrical setup. Uh, just a note here: if if you buy uh, one of these for your car, your AMC Eagle, but it has the terminals pointing down, you're going to have a heck of a time getting it to fit. So you want the one. Find the design where the terminals are coming off the side, going straight out the side and you should be good to go. All right, so uh, let's uh, pop the hood and get started. All right, so once you pop the hood, you take a look off to the right here. And the, uh, I guess it would be the driver's front quarter. Got the coolant overflow tank, and this is the washer reservoir. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all we'll have to remove, but uh, there's obviously one fastener there and one fastener over there. Hard to see, but those are half inch. Let me just disconnect. This is the overflow. So I'll disconnect this, um, take out those two bolts, and then we'll go from there. Okay, just to get a little bit more room, I disconnected the air hose from down here. There's just a single clip, and I took out the other two half-inch bolts holding in the coolant reservoir and just moved it over here because I found that I couldn't really get good access to that. So uh, it's probably too hard to get you in here, but uh, next step will be to disconnect. Not that one, that's the top one. Disconnect the wiring and the hose that leads up to the washer uh, jets themselves. All right, so let's give this a try now. Uh, what's probably gonna happen is it's gonna leak everywhere. There's two pumps under there. One's for the, um, the rear washer. I'm gonna try to just disconnect the wiring. Unfortunately, I can't really operate the camera and do this at the same time, so bear with me. Okay, I got one pump disconnected, the wiring, now I'll try the other. Okay, so I got both the electrical connectors disconnected. This wants to leak everywhere, so I do have a pail here. I'm going to see if I can, well, it's going to be tricky. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to disconnect both hoses. Sadly, my arm's right in the way. Okay, there's one. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I'll let that drain out. All right, so I got it out, got it drained, kind of wiped it down. Uh, one thing I did that I'm just not going to show you is that I took a voltmeter to the actual uh, wiring connector under the hood and verified that there's power getting to the pump. Uh, I just wanted to make sure before I go and change it out. They're both in obviously bad shape. This one's for the rear. This one's for the front, for the windshield. 
And in this case, I'm not worried about the rear because the rear wiper doesn't even work. So I'm going to leave that one alone. This one is the one that we need to change out. Um, so the next step would be then to, to remove this. And if you take a look at the new one, you'll see there's actually this threaded piece that's threaded and there's actually kind of a nut uh, plastic one that has a filter. I'll try and bring this up to show you. There we go. Uh, focus. Close anyway. So what I need to do is take a 7 8 inch deep socket and put it way down there. Hopefully nothing breaks. We'll find out. And then we'll just hold the ratchet here. And let's go that way. Okay, and then I'll just turn this by hand. Or like I'll hold it down there and just try and unscrew it. Oh, it's not even really tight, apparently. Now I can just turn it just with my fingers. Okay. And that came out. We want to change that grommet. The filter is actually, you might not be able to see that, it's still stuck in there, and that's okay. That'll actually probably make it easier to line up. So let's take a peek down there. There we go. So I'm going to try and remove this rubber grommet. There we go. And I want to change that out for the new one. Put that one in. Truthfully, I probably should just change them both right now, but like, I don't know if I'll ever get the rear wiper working, so I'm not going to stress too much about it. Okay, and there's a little white washer that's rattling around in there. So if we now take a look, you can see the black new grommet, and there was apparently this white washer on top of it. Might be tricky to line that back up. I'm just going to kind of have to wiggle that around. You probably can't see, but I'm just trying to wiggle it using my finger through that hole down there. Then we'll take the new one. We'll put it in there. Should be a little tight. Just kind of wiggle it. I guess I probably could have put a little Vaseline or something on there. And now I just need to kind of Shake and wiggle. Okay, good. So now if you look in there, you can see that little plastic um, washer, I guess it would be, kind of thing. And I'm going to just carefully try and have this not fall off and put it right back on there with any luck. All right. This isn't working. I'll, uh, I'll come back. Okay, I found out what was making this so difficult. I was using a 7 8 socket and if you notice on here there's kind of two sizes on that nut and the 7 8 was going all the way down and if I grab a 13 16 it fits down to that first step on there so I'll be able to actually push down get that on better so uh, instead of wasting your time uh, I'll just move on and, and reinstall it, but the trick is use a 13 16 not a 7 8 like the instructions say. All right, should be good to go now.
And actually, before I bolt that all down, I'm just going to put a little bit of washer fluid into there and test the pump out. All right, well, I got things pretty much back together. I'm going to apply some new duct tape, I think, to that air intake duct. But the washer pump now works for the windshield, so the car's a little bit safer and things are back together. But yeah, that's it. Probably got a few other little tasks I'll do to the Eagle. So uh, let me know if you want me to do a bunch more videos. Probably do a few anyway. But uh, yeah. Hope you found the video helpful. If you do have any questions about what you've seen here or if you have a similar problem or related problem, uh, by all means, leave me a comment below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. And thanks for watching.